First time seeing new pictures there, yeah. Pictures looking nice. And what do you think of the, the facilities and things? And... Yeah, the facilities looking good. The training ground, all the training pitches are top class as well. And I know a few lads here who are good lads as well, so I prefer a good start to see them. Yeah, playing in front of their fans every week, all good. Um, atmosphere always good. Um, just uh, playing for the championship and uh, playing for promotion, just being in the top of the league is always where you want to be, where you want to be playing. So that's what we're hoping to do here is push us on to try and get them playoff spots, maybe challenge for the top spots as well. And you were part of the Stockport squad when Spenio helped you out, when yeah. you Charlie won the other. Do you remember that yeah. day with the big on the ground? That's the most famous goal in Stockport, like Glenn Taylor. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he helps out tenfold for that. So I've got, to, I've got to give him a few assists when I get to play with him now, I suppose. And I've, I've looked up some of your goals you've scored in the past. I'm thinking about going against Dover specifically. Mm -hmm. Is that something you kind of specialise in, these spectacular goals, or is that just kind of instinct? Yeah, I think I'm quite an instinctive player. Like, I'll just have to think on the spot, and if I think something's right, I'll do it. So, yeah, I do like, I do like going for a spectacular goal, definitely. And I, I mentioned it before, but I. I Seems to have got you and the connection to rugby and all your brother plays rugby. Can you kind of explain the decision to choose a football over rugby? Well, me and we both played rugby and football. Me and we were both really good at both. And he, he like played rugby league, but he's massive, six foot four. And he just used to play Sunday league, he played Scott four goals every week. And well, then he just chose rugby because he was a bit of a big lad. And, and I, I can chose football and rugby. And I just, in the end, I just played football in my life. So I just thought this. When I were at Leeds Academy as well, I thought I'd just give this a good go, but I'm not saying no to going back to rugby league at one point. And joining Spenny and Town, obviously you were in Stockport for a couple of years and you had them board spells. Do you see this as kind of a, a new stage in your career, like a bit of a fresh start and things? Yeah, definitely I do think it's a fresh start. I'm really wanting to kick on now with my football and like just really keeping as fit as I can and pushing on. And if you had a message for the Spenny and Town fans, about the, the coming season, obviously we don't know when they're going to come back. Mm -hmm. But you had a message for kind of your ambitions and things, and what they can expect from you. What would be? My ambition is to get this club promoted into the conference and me to score as many goals as I can and just have the boys. Um, achieve promotion. <laughs>